Hey you guys, it is Christine Ibarra. Let's see if this is working because I have been having some technical difficulties. So I'm gonna check my profile real quick. Okay, it looks like it's working. Okay guys, so I am going to recreate this look on this eye. Can you believe the difference? I love makeup. So I'm gonna share this really quick uh, before I get started. Oh, Tina wants to come in. He heard my voice. No, I'll hug. Baby. He wants to give me a hug. Hey, no. I'll hug. Baby. Okay, give me a hug and then go play. Can I hug me? Yes, give me a hug and then go play with Daddy. Okay? Okay, in a little bit. Go play with Daddy. Go have fun. Go blow bubbles. Real quick, one more share, I promise. Okay. And I don't know what lip color to do. So I'm gonna do this other eye and let's figure out what lip color um, would look the best. Isn't it crazy? I love makeup. I do. I invited a couple people. Hey guys, all right, let's get going. So, what do you think? Do you like it? <laughs> so, um, I went to Ulta yesterday and I never go to Ulta. So like, I'm such a dork. Hi, Cindy. So, I go into Ulta and I'm like, oh my God, I don't know my way around the store. And I had my family with me and I, oh, my boys, they like run all over the store. Tino's like, can I sit in this chair? You know, they're nuts. And so, um, I finally figured out what, where to get the stuff I wanted. I needed some falsies. I got some, um, Ardell Demi Wispies and I may put these on. I'm still like a total noob with falsies and I feel like when I put them on like like it is so abrupt right here and I don't know if that means I need to like pull them over this way and trim them more or pull them over this way I'm such a noob so um I'll probably do that off camera but I did get some with those I got some Tarte uh, falsies eyelash glue what is it called it's called Tardiest Pro, and it's black. Girl, it's black, which I love because I hate, like, even though the white dries clear, I just hate it. I love black. Black's my favorite color. Can you tell? Can you tell black's my favorite color? So um, I got the eyelash glue. I got the eyelashes, and then I got Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. This stuff is the bomb, you guys. I was using another brand before and it was a lot thinner. This is like, cause I was using my eye primer before and a concealer on top and a powder to set it. This is like using eye primer and concealer together for me and my, you know, my personal experience. So you put it on, it's got like a little tip on it and rub it in and then I set it. And so now, all I gotta do is eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna do concealer and other stuff too. So, check this out. I'm gonna be using Urban Decay and, um, and Limelight by Alcone. And I have had this eyeshadow, it's called Adore. And it broke a long time ago, but look how pretty it is. It broke a long time ago. And I tried to uh, fix it with alcohol. You know that little trick? If you don't know that little trick, you could probably find it on Facebook or um, Pinterest or YouTube. You put alcohol in it and you like press it back together. Um, but obviously it didn't work for that one because it's still like all over the place. Hey guys, when you hop on, comment below and say hi so I can see who's here. Because I see people are on. Say hello. So uh, anyways, let's get going. Hello, Christine, would you mind listing the products after your life? Yes, I, no, I don't mind. I usually do that. I, I usually do that. Um, as long as I remember. Yeah. Yeah, I'll totally do that. Okay, so I'm going to start with 
my Morphe G17 blending brush. Hey Kristen, hey Tanya. Um, and I'm gonna use the color Coral of the Story. And that's gonna be like my main transition color. Don't forget to tap. Okay, so I'm gonna start up here. Um, I have hooded eyes. Um, they're pretty darn hooded. So if you're looking for um, eyeshadow tutorials for hooded eyes, you've come to the right place. Cause yes, Tony knows. She she watches. She watches my stuff. Okay. So I'm just putting this on. These eyeshadows are the perfect eyeshadows by Limelight. They are very pigmented, which I love. Um, most, the majority of the eyeshadows I have from Limelight are matte, uh, but I do have a few shimmers. So that's why I'm like kind of pairing um, these Limelight shadows with some shimmers that I already have. Of different brands I'm so so wanting to get the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe um, <laughs> mini on replay yes Tanya is in Italy um so when I went to go check out to get my stuff at Ulta yesterday the lady was like oh uh, check out this new Urban Decay palette. I think it was called the heat or something like that. It's all like really warm, uh, mattes and shimmers. And I was like, Oh man, that's so pretty. But I'm saving myself for the Jaclyn Hill palette. She's like, I understand. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for it to come back. I put my name on an email list. Okay. So now that I've got coral of the story on, let me add a little bit more to this, to this hood right here. Okay, I'm going to use an old, this is an old Urban Decay crease brush. I'm going to add a little bit of a corkable just to give it some more warmth up here and a little bit, I'm just going to like work some colors into this. I don't know, just, I'm just doing it. I don't know why. I'm just trying to recreate that look. Did you guys see the picture that I posted earlier? I found a really pretty Pinterest picture and I was like, ooh, I want to recreate this. So I went and checked out all of my old Urban Decay eyeshadows and I found that Adore. Um, it's a little bit lighter than the blue in the picture, but I, I still like I still like the outcome. Thank you. Which one? Oh, you, you're talking about G17, the Morphe one, huh? Yeah, and guess what? I want to get, because um, that one's pretty big, I want to get one that is like that, like really fluffy, but smaller. And that's kind of why I'm using this one right here. So this one's pretty huge. You have to be careful or else you'll end up with eyeshadow up to your eyebrow, and you don't want to do that. Hey Jessica, how is everybody tonight? So I'm just working in this medium brown here. I'm hearing makeup artist at Jaclyn Hill palette. Really? I saw some videos and it looked good to me. And I have some friends that um, uh, Dana tried it out and oh my gosh, it was gorgeous. That's interesting. Everybody has their own likes and dislikes, right? Okay, so now I'm going to get even darker. I'm going to put a little bit of Levita Mocha on my crease brush. And I'm just going to go in here. These are some like really good colors to use together. Coral of the Story, a Corkable, and Levita Mocha. You could pretty much put any color on your lid. I mean, not any color, but lots of different colors. You're the master of blending. Oh my God, thank you. Oh, Linda, I keep forgetting to message you. Um, 
If you could go to the makeup lounge, I'm just going to tell you directly right now. If you could go to the makeup lounge and fill out the um, the request form for samples so I know exactly what you want because I want to get your stuff to you ASAP. Um, and the link for that is in my makeup lounge. Okay. Oh, you know what else I wanted to do? I wanted to put some setting powder under my eye because I'm going to have fallout big time with the blue. They've said the blendability isn't good and the pigment payoff and shows it. Weird. That's weird. I've seen a couple of videos and it looked good. Oh, you know what? I might have messed up because I need to put on um, concealer. Oh, well. I guess we'll find out, huh? Okay. So, the other thing I did, and you guys, I'm so... I just have my own little things, okay? I unscrewed my makeup primer lid and I dropped, because this is a liquid, I dropped it on top of my um, ColourPop highlighter plastic to get my brush wet and then dip it into the blue. And of course, yeah. I'm gonna have to put finishing spray on after my mascara because I forget to do that every freaking time. Okay, tap, tap a -roo, get the excess off. And we're gonna start putting this on the lid. My wrinkly lids are gonna do this. So pretty though. All the way to the lash line. I have makeup all over my hands because I'm messy and the shadow is broken. That's why I have a huge pack of makeup wipes here to just take off the excess. So I'm gonna pull my lid a little bit so I can get like really into the corner. And bring it up a little. Such a pretty color. Again, this is a door by um, Urban Decay. <laughs> I'm laughing at your fireworks. Are those fireworks or little little bams, explosions? See, this shadow has a lot of blue fallout. Just making sure I have an even coverage. Especially when you get your brush wet, it starts to act all funky and not want to blend good and stuff. So I like to go over the top of it with a dry layer. Okay. So wipe off my hands before I like wipe blue all over my face. And then I'm gonna try attempt to scoop this there a little bit. We're going to clean up the under eye with concealer. If this one has concealer. Okay. Da, da, da. Let's go back with the crease brush and put some more Lavina Mocha in the crease. I feel like, yeah, that's good. I'm overthinking things again, like I always do.
I love the warm um, transition colors. Excuse me, guys. I wish I could have music on. It super sucks that Facebook is mean about that. Blend and blend. Okay. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Regina. Oh, Regina, it's your birthday today, huh? Happy birthday. I'm meaning to put a post on your page. Okay. What's next? Eyeliner. I am going to use my trusty L'Oreal gel eyeliner. And I'm going to do a little wing. I guess a big wing. We're going to do a big wing. Let me make sure I got this completely flat. Here we go. So I have contacts in. And it's crazy because I feel like anytime any pressure is put on my lid, it's like my contacts want to move, you know? It feels weird. I'm not used to wearing them anymore. I do like seeing though. In fact, it's almost like overwhelming because I can see really, really good and I'm not used to it. Okay, got the basic line. Now let's get that wing going. What lip color do you guys think I should wear? I'm not going anywhere fancy. I just like to dress up fancy sometimes. Hi, Mia. It's okay, I'll clean it up, don't worry. This isn't the best brush, and you guys, I'm still on the prowl for like a really good wing brush. But the good thing is, is that I can um, do tan color. Hmm. I can always clean it up, you know? Excuse my ugly mascara face. I can't, I can't help it, you guys. I know it's there. I can't stop it. Let's get a smooth line here. Okay. Pretty darn close. So you know what I did? Instead of using a brush to clean up my wing on this eye, all I did was I took a makeoff wipe and I have my nail right here. And I just kind of went up like that. Pretty crazy. It's much easier than trying to do it with a brush. And you just kind of wipe off whatever line comes out. Yeah. Okay, so now I want to do, you guys, I'm so sorry I'm burping, it's so gross. 
I am going to do my bottom waterline now. Really dig this gel for the bottom waterline. It stays really good. Oops. That's cool. Okay. We're transforming. It's coming together. Um, what hair products do I use? Oh my gosh, I forgot my ring in the bathroom. I have to take off my ring when I style my hair or else my hair gets all caught up in my ring and it pulls it. Um, Amy, you know what? I will post a picture in the comments under your comment when I'm all done of all the stuff that I use and um, the styling stuff too. I actually just used a new shampoo today um, by Shea Moisture and I really like it. It's for low porosity, high protein hair. Hair that like breaks really easily and doesn't absorb moisture well. Um, okay, so let's do some concealer. Concealer. I like, under my eyes, I like to do a mixture of concealer too. You guys look, I'm running out of this stuff. Concealer two, this is one and this is zero. I like to mix two and zero together. You're very welcome. And you guys, it takes like a teeny tiny amount. I'm um, putting it on my hand with a little spatula and then I'm gonna get my concealer brush to put it on under my eye. Wait, let's do one little final swoop and then we'll get the concealer. And it's okay that we have blue under my eye even though I didn't put it there <laughs> because I wanted to do that anyways. <laughs> we just go with the flow. And we're gonna clean, clean up the wing. Nice and bright underneath so it looks nice and crisp. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Do the little upside down triangle. And then we're gonna take the, um, well, I'm gonna rotate it over because I don't wanna use that powder side. We're gonna take my wet, uh, I mean a damp blender full, and I'm just gonna blend in the concealer. Sometimes I'll drag it a little bit, like in the corner of my eye, just to make sure I have a good blend. Okay, nice and crisp, and we're going to set it. What did I do with that powder? Oh, it's right here. This is the perfect trio, um, the perfect powder, the perfect press powder, um, blush six, which is used as a highlighter, have a little bit on and then the perfect bronzer. So I'm gonna dip this into the perfect pressed powder to set my concealer. I'm gonna look up and this will prevent my concealer from creasing. No creases and it makes my under eye, um, what you call them? Soon to be bags, <laughs> circles. Go away. Okay. And then I just take my brush and I kind of brush the excess like so. I think I could probably use a little more on this side, huh? Let's make this go away. Go, go, go away. Oh, that's better. 
Okay. Um, now I need to add some color to the bottom. So I'm just going to go over this blue a little bit. And then I'm going to take a, a small liner brush, this bad boy, and I'm going to get Lamita Mocha, which is the color I used in my crease. And I'm going to go real close to the lash line with this and just kind of put it on top. I'm going to touch up that bottom line or two, but I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to blend. And where did that letter go? Hi, Marissa. Hi, Maria. How are you guys? I always need to touch up right here after I do my um, bottom lash line color. Okay, so um, let's get some highlighter on and then I'm gonna put some finishing spray and mascara. Can I use my fingers? Yeah, let's do that. Um, this highlighter is called um, Stole the Show Super Shock Cheek by um, ColourPop. It has kind of like a beige shimmer to it. Really pretty. I like to kind of bring it right on top of uh, my cheekbone. This particular highlighter works a lot better when you use your finger. I don't know, just doesn't like brushes. It's like a, um, it's like a cream powder or something, you know, like it, I don't know, you guys just read my mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. I really dig the one little dot on the center of the nose. That's just kind of like my thing. And I honestly just barely touch my chin with highlighter because this is a problem area for me, so I don't want to draw too much attention to it. And highlighter can, if you're not careful, can bring out some um, imperfections in your skin. So, you know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. And I forgot this. Hold up. Okay, so I put a little bit of cream boat. This is cream boat right here. Underneath the brow. Totally totes forgot. A little bit of cream boat. And then a little bit of, I cannot remember the name of this one. It's from the Onyx palette. A little bit of that. Gonna bring it down and blend it. But I'm gonna use this on the inside corner because I love. See, look, you press into it. Look. Nothing. I wonder if I can use my finger. Hey. Hey, it works. Use your finger with this stuff. Isn't that crazy? Okay, now I'm gonna use my my brush here. Oh yeah. Okay. Setting spray, which is called Ten Years Younger Finishing Spray. First base makeup primer. It looks exactly like this, and it likes to hide on my desk. Where in the heck? Like really? Like really? Oh, 
pulled up. I found it. Hi, Carrie. Okay, so we're gonna do the 10 years younger finishing spray, and this is gonna make our makeup stay on all day. Granted, it is kind of late in the evening, so I'll have no problems keeping my makeup on with this stuff, but yes, use this, you will love it. Watch this. Just a little, I go in circles, you guys, because I don't like to follow instructions. The instructions say to do like a T and an X, but I do my own thing. I like to uh, be a rebel. Okay, so I need a new mascara. So I'm just gonna use some L'Oreal Voluminous on my lashes. And then I think what I'm gonna do is, I have a lot of eyeliner in my lashes. Might have to comb these babies out. Um, I am going to see how this looks and I might possibly put on those falsies and then I'll be done. Oh no, I have to do lips. Okay, so somebody said to use, to do a nude lip. I was kind of thinking like, um, like, um, oops, sorry. Like a meat, like not dark, but not light. Like a medium nude. I just ordered the dark nude lip liner from, um, Limelight yesterday. I haven't tried that one yet. Let's get the bottom lashes and then we will talk about lips. And I have like a ton of choices for lips. Yeah, buddy. Okay. You hear all that? I know, right? I have a problem. I like lip color. So, I'm wearing a black top. I was thinking about wearing silver jewelry. I could wear... No, I don't like that one. Mm -mm. Nope. No. Um, no. Guys, help me. Give me. You slay. Thanks, girl. You like how I put it up to my mouth and close my eyes? I'm just a girl, you guys. I don't know what I'm doing. See, I was kind of thinking something like this. This is macaroon, so let's see. I'm gonna put that to the side because that's what I was thinking about. Um, I also have a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. This one's called Teeny Tiny. Ooh, Crystal says yes. Let's put a swatch. This is called Teeny Tiny. This is also a very, this, they're very, very close. Look at that, Teeny Tiny is just a little bit darker. Look, okay, hold on, hold on, Crystal. Don't get excited. I wanna pick a really perfect color. Perfect? No, I just wanna pick something that goes with it. Macaroon, teeny tiny. Amy's saying macaroon too. Okay, okay, macaroon is, is a big one. Okay, then we have, I know phone, I know my storage is almost full. I tried to get rid of the pictures, but you did not want to let me. My phone's yelling at me. This is Trap. Do you have like an orangey color? No, you know why, Jenna? Because everything turns orange on me and so I stay away from orange. But like orange and, you know, eyeshadows are in, so. This one is called Trap. No, I lied. This one's called Bianca. This one's Trap, this one's Bianca. I'm kind of thinking teeny tiny. Sandra, this one's from Limelight. 
and the rest are ColourPop. What is this one called? Finders Keepers. That's kind of too purpley, no? Ooh, maybe Times Square. Hold on. I'm having fun. Ooh, maybe Times Square because Times Square is like more of like a nude. I don't know if you can tell. How about that one? <gasps> is it that one? Is that the one we want? Times Square? What do we think? Yeah, blue and orange too. And then here's one more and then I'll be done, I promise. This one's called Beeper. I am thinking Times Square. Yeah, Times Square or Beeper. This is so fun, you guys. Thanks for joining me. Um, so let's put on some Times Square. My lips want to be dry, but that's okay. Okay, Crystal says Times Square too. I had to get Crystal's blessing. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't even know if I've ever worn this one. I love these. Even though they don't feel that great, they dry out after a while. They're still so pretty. Oh, shoot. Oh. You wish, Christine. Calm down. I have to fix this. I went nuts. This one's color pop. <gasps> I went a little um, nutso. Where's my concealer in the eyeshadow? Went a little nuts so over here. Okay, I'm done, you guys. Last last picture of the swatch. Let's wipe this off. So that wraps it up. I'm gonna see if I feel like putting on those falsies because I'm scared I'm gonna run my eyeshadow, and I don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to post pictures in the comments and I will post a list of the products that I used. If you have any questions, thank you, Amy. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a message and I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.